Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be doing a review of the PM2 paper 2023. This time round, before making this video, I did a poll, okay, on yeah. the channel and I asked the people what they thought of the paper. 73% said that they thought that the paper was either all right or they actually loved it, okay? And 27% said that they found it hard. And there was one comment, someone said that last year, I mean, they said it was a fantastic paper overall, but one comment said that the paper two last year was actually easier. And they actually even said 100 times easier. Obviously, they were exaggerating, but it was easier because they felt that on this paper, question nine onwards had this huge jump. So let's touch upon that first. Well, there were other comments from what I've read that a few people said that the, apparently the past papers were easier than, <laughs> than the current paper where they sat yesterday. Mm -hmm. Which I have to disagree because I've looked through the past, but obviously everyone has. Um, and if you look at it in more detail, the questions that came up were quite short. They wasn't mm. going into that. No, most of them wasn't that that deep, apart from the you know, two modeling questions. Were two, in fact, there was more, up most I, I counted page. right modeling because we sort of said that modeling was going to be heavy, yeah. and I counted like twenty percent of that paper was modeling. That's three questions out of the fifteen. So you can see that they love modeling now. Okay, before that's you, kind of what's the general theme of the new A level is to have more, more have modeling more modeling questions, questions on there. Like every chapter in the textbook, mm. uh, most modeling of with this, modeling with that. Because I remember chapter, someone said that question. we you love modeling when you were predicting those things. <laughs> I mean, obviously, and Excel love modeling. Okay, so modeling questions are going to be very very heavy going forward. So if you're watching this and you haven't taken year two exams, you maybe you're in the lower years, then that's something that you will want to focus on. All right. Now, f first of all, let's just look at the difficulty. What did you feel about this paper, you the were, difficulty? You were Come saying on. that, um, you know, I think you mentioned before that one person said the first half was easy, the second half was hard. Yeah, they hard. said that from nine, question nine onwards, it was like a huge jump. The but questions then, were easier so and then far. The students I spoke to, a few of them I spoke to um, straight after the exam, they were saying the opposite. They found the first half a little bit trickier, but the second half a bit more, you know, the, to their likings. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, could this be like the different types of questions? Because some students would have like been, you know, expect, fearing the worst yeah. and preparing all the hard questions in their revision, right? They would be fearing the worst and maybe they were neglectful of the easier That's questions. That's what I think. I think they became complacent that when they were learning about the quote, uh, pure, um, pure, pure topics, the easier topics, they, they kind of understood them really quickly and mm -hmm. then they just moved on. And when it came to revision, they just fo mostly focus more of the energy and time on the harder question, harder topic questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when they, when they came across an easier one that mm -hmm. they know that they've done in the past, they quickly understood it. Um, they just skimmed through it. That's what I think. That's that's quickly, a, and, and that's they, they haven't really got... done the question. They just skimmed through it. Um, and the technique that they apply, mm -hmm. they obviously in the head, they think, yeah, they, they know how to do it. Okay. Um, but not really practice. Yeah, yeah. And when they definitely... came to the exam, they probably knew that because they know what to do, but then they froze mm -hmm. and then just, just got messed up and made, made mistakes. Um, and that's also what ex yeah. really explains why the second half, the one that, that said the second half was easier, yeah. the second half had the modeling question, the differential equation, um, all the harder topics, the parametric also came up. Um, so what about this 27%? What would you say? Yeah. What did, were they, I mean, guys, how good was the revision game? You know, what were you expecting on the papers? Did sometimes students, I mean, we get this all the time, students leave things right at the last minute. Yeah. You know, the uh, practice paper that you did, I was asking a few questions, uh, a few students, have you watched the video yet? They said, no, so I'll watch it. I'll watch it twice before, before the exam. Now, you're trying to cram in everything twice, the night before, the two days before, you won't get that. I mean, A-level is a, you know, something that you need to let it mature, let it simmer, yeah, you know, and it. then think yeah, about it. Keep practicing, practicing as much as possible. Not the, the, the night game, before. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know how good your game was, guys. You know, you can, you can leave your... But then again, um, I mean, I could argue that there were students who have done non-stop practicing for, for a long time. Um, and those that might have found it hard, what, yeah. what could have gone wrong for them? Then? Um, I think I've already kind of covered it, and I said earlier that it's the type of question that they're focusing on focus certain on. types of questions, thinking um, that they were going to come up and, and putting all the eggs into one basket for yeah. that sort of question. I got it. I got it. Now there's another question about time factor. Yeah, now, this is a two-hour. I think that. <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, I think that's the main reason I would say, even if it's an easy paper, it, it, it's, it's not practicing themselves in, in a time condition, yeah, time condition and yeah. they spend too much time on, on an easy question where not as many marks, whereas, I mean, how do or you... maybe, or maybe that they haven't looked through the, the rest of the paper in, in as, as I always say to my students, before you start, 
doing the actual work. Scan through, scan the through all the questions. See how many questions there are. Look at you know which one you can easily do. And which, which one, one you should more start more on first. On. Which one? Yeah. Um, you just so manage get, your time from exactly, the beginning. Get, the ones you know that you can do really quick. Get those out of the way first, yeah, and yeah. then go back. But it's a common, you know, yeah, advice. I, I, I get it. Everyone get it. gives, but it's just. But, practice but ultimately, you might ultimately, this is my this is my opinion, right? I feel that two hours on this paper. All right, this paper is okay, but I'm just trying to imagine all those previous years yeah. uh, exam papers. And I'm looking at it sometimes. I think, wow, I can't do that in the two pre hours. The previous myself. paper, I would say, was more, more challenging. Yeah. And two, two hours. hours but then again, it's, if it's consistent with everyone, everyone apart from in a few exceptions. Uh, and but, but the, the pressure, the end, though, the yeah, pressure, the pressure, guys. I, you know, I'm, I'm looking. At, I mean, there's so much pressure on the kids. Why are you going to put a young person through so much pressure? They've got all these other subjects. I just feel this is my personal opinion, right? I just feel that they either increase the time, and two hours is long enough anyway, but decrease the amount of questions then. Yeah, I mean, maybe instead of 15, 16 questions, make it 10, 11 questions. All right, that's how I feel. This is just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. with the examiner, they want to stretch, stretch the students. They want to see who are the, the cream. What's creme, the de la creme. creme de la creme. <laughs> yeah, yeah, creme de la creme. Um, so what, oh, yeah, I get oh, that. Yeah. And they oh, fair know, enough. Oh, yeah. But let me know, guys, what you think about the time. Do you feel that two hours is uh, too little? Do you feel that the... Um, there should be a reduced amount of questions. Remember, it's spread over two papers anyway, so yeah. they can you know, get a good mixture of it. All right, um, let's move on now to paper three, stats and mechanics. Yeah. Now, we are both mechanics specialists. So stats is, we've taught the old spec, the old legacy paper I'm, statistics, I'm spec. and you've done the new spec very recently as well. Yeah. Um, so we'll be able to sort of, I'll, I'll give the mechanics, and you can maybe give a bit of advice on the statistics. So, I mean, you, we get kinematics a lot on the mechanics papers, you know, th those questions might, you know, the, 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 the methods that you need, you know, the resolving the diagrams, drawing the components and forces improperly, those are things I would highly recommend that you guys practice on, you know, the slope, uh, you know, the particle on a slope, resolving, look, the, forces. resolving the forces, when there's friction, when there's not friction, the when there's acceleration, of, direction the direction of friction, of friction, of friction limit, all limit those things, limiting equilibrium, the pulley questions, when it's going towards the pulley, the forces, et cetera, et cetera. So if you guys, practice that make sure you put a lot of work and a lot of effort into those things because those question kind of questions can come up two or three times mm -hmm. all right so that's my advice for the mechanics so what about statistics what can you say about statistics um the large data set mm. that's one thing i'm not personally fond of i don't know what understand why they you can't just give you, you the large data set it's not yeah. a massive you know drawback it's, it's just recognizing the different patterns and and knowing the key of units and stuff so that's I don't understand why they can kind of give a lot of data, yeah. data and then, you know, say, look at the data, figure out, you know, what, figure what out is what being, it. figure it out. But what can they focus on? Like, if you had to give um, them a, a particular topic to sort of try and master between yeah, now I mean, and the exam. Yeah, I hypothesis testing. It's like, know how, know how to do hypothesis testing when you have um, uh, bivariate data, so you from, from working at the PMCC. Mm. Um, and I think for that, you have to look at the table mm. and work at the critical value. Yep. And then... Put it on the number line and see where the critical so, region is. So make sure you guys go over those sort of things. And then there's hypothesis testing using bi binomial distribution, mm -hmm. and then for normal distribution. Well, right, right. Past paper exam papers, is the hypothesis testing very similar on these questions that they can sort of? Would you recommend them focusing on that or looking at new questions all the time? I think once you've got the basic understanding of it. So if you look at standard question where they give you all the figures and then just you know just do the test and then you accept or reject the hypothesis always write it down in context afterwards mm -hmm. um, but there are some tricky ones like the one where the the appointment times um, oh yes yes, the conditional yes yes probability within yeah, yes, so it yes. can get it can get tricky yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but if you practice enough and you understand how the conditional probability part works mm -hmm. then you can tackle i think sometimes you have to sort of ask of logic like you know that you mentioned about the waiting times in a surgery yeah. or something that's like, beyond is it good is it better if it's less than this time or greater than this time so guys, hope you enjoyed this review. Share with us in the comments what you thought of the paper and we shall see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye for now.